another day in Lamu today. We're having some lunch here. <clears throat> then from there explore the small town, okay? It's amazing and I'm having my friend here. Yazim, yes, hi my friend. Hey, what's up? Introduce yourself for the new audience, you know. Uh, well, uh, my name is Yasin Juma. Yes. I'm a well-known TV journalist in Kenya. Yes. I've been a TV journalist for 17 years. 17 years, man. Well, 17 years. And, uh, yes. I'm now uh, a digital nomad also. Yes. So, uh, actually, through uh, Marwa's work and uh, many other... Actually, in, in Kenya, Marwa is the uh, only like popular international uh, digital Traveler, nomad, yes. the actual digital nomad that you So I, I was uh, inspired by his work. Thank you, bro. And uh, yeah, it's my second year digital nomad. So I chose Lamu uh, yeah. after being in Ethiopia. Wow. Also, oh, so you've been to Somalia, like the... no, I, I cover uh, conflict, mostly. conflict, so water yes, war areas. Yes, yeah, so yes. I do that. Uh, for different international houses. Yes. So, I, I cover and uh, also do consultancy and media. media wow, well, man. Actually, I think uh, I'll do his story, like one just video for me and him, just him telling us his experience. And then from there, maybe you get to know him more. But for now, we're having some biryani. This is called biryani. Yeah, biryani. It's Swahili uh, food, right? Biryani, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so it just shows the influence of how Swahili has a lot of influence. Yes. The, the Swahili people live though, at the coast. Yes. And uh, the Indian Ocean, those influence from different uh, parts of the world. So this uh, actually is, uh, is, uh, has uh, Indian origins. Yes. So biryani is Oh, Indian yes. And also passion, right? Uh, yeah, passion, kind of passion. Yeah, yeah. So not not uh, not, uh, not Arabic. Oh, not so, Arabic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the the, the, the Indian part of, uh, of Lam no, the, of, the Swahili, of the Swahili culture. Yeah. And this is uh, tamarind. Tamarind, yes. And uh, we call it in Swahili ukwaji. Ukwaji. Actually, I didn't know tamarind in Swahili. We call it ukwaji. I would have failed an exam right there. So, guys, we're having this. Then from there, we shall be hitting around the streets, showing you more the history of this place. It has crazy history. Yes. And also, this is one of the islands that does not have cars at all. Like, there are no cars here. I think there are... Like here, it's about uh, motorbikes and mostly donkeys and boats. It's, it's, it's a donkey country. Oh, it's actually, as I speak about that, you can see a small kid just arriving right there. You see? There's a kid right there. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, you see? That guy is getting off his donkey right there. <laughs> Uh, I think these donkeys are very disciplined. You know, other donkeys will beat you up and run with you, and, you know? Wow. They're disciplined. Very. They're more like uh, uh, human. more like human. Human, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> wow, guys. Yo, what's up, what's up, guys? This is Maro here. We are coming live from uh, Lamu. I'm having one of my friends here now. This is our second day meeting. Hey, I've, what's up? Yes, introduce uh, yourself for the audience. Uh, well, my name is Yasin Juma. Yes. I am a journalist. Yes. Uh, I'm a digital nomad. Yes. I also go around uh, you know, different places in Africa. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Lamu, I've been in Lamu here for like uh, six months. Six it's months. Not home, I'm yeah. just a digital model, but it's like home away from home. And nice to meet you, Maru. Thank you so much. You see what's happening here in Lamu. So people are arriving in the island, and we're in the island of Lamu, and we are really excited to show you around, starting from the goats around here as you see them. I don't know why. Why are the goats here, man? It's Eid. 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 Yes. Eid Adha. Adha is a slaughtering Eid. Okay. The Muslims, uh, uh, it's a remembrance of uh, Prophet uh, Abraham. Yes. Abraham. Yes. In, yes. So, um, you know, we commemorate how uh, Abraham slaughtered, uh, uh, was, was told to slaughter the son. Yes, but so God is, gave him yeah, a sheep. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So it's, it's, we call it Eid. We call it, uh, you know, the main heat. Yes. Yeah, it's, an important, uh, yeah. it's an important uh, celebration. 
Jews. So these they are waiting here them they are to be taken to the islands. Oh here we are on Lamo Island. Yes. Uh, maybe the, the other side is different islands. Oh, that wow. is Manda Island. Manda. So of course there is Manda Island is yes. where we have the airport also. Okay. Uh, let's let him receive the call as he received the call look this is the ship that takes you to the island i don't know if i should call it a ship or a door it has some solar panels wow man so today we're gonna be walking around we want to show you what lamu island is and what it can offer so actually today you'll be our main tour guide oh nice yes uh, it's, it will be a pleasure we are looking forward about uh, to know about so, the seafood huh? Sea this is lamu seafood yes like shoot a pan like this all the way. Yes. This is the safe from two jets. Two jets, yes. This, uh, this uh, jet number one and jet, jet number two. Uh, where the jets boats, land, uh, yes. Where arrive where the boats, uh, uh, where the boats arrive. You're telling me here people don't really like to wear shoes and also... They call it the... The, 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 the island. The barefoot island. Yes, actually you can see... It's a tradition that uh, many have here. Yeah, they prefer it. You know, it's a, it's a lay down. You know, hey, I want you guys to look in front of us. You see what we're talking about. Like, people don't really like to, to, to wear the shoes here. Yes. It's just very. It's, it's, it's more. Yeah. Like, so, uh, yes. There's also some. Uh, they said there's uh, some history. Some history yes. About it. Uh, like the hey, say hi to this the donkeys. <laughs> So here guys, the main way of transport is donkeys. You are telling me like there are no cars in this island. Oh. A long time there used to be only one vehicle. Here. One vehicle. To the district commission. Yeah, so it used to be that way during the colonial time up to like visit. Yes. But uh, nowadays... That donkey is pregnant, right? Yes. Because even it's, it's sitting, it cannot stand so upright. You really? You realize that? Yeah. Okay, let's look around. So, this island has no cars, guys. No, there's no vehicle. Mm -hmm. so, but now we have uh, three, at least three vehicles. Three vehicles? Oh. But you have to, like, get, you know, permission from the authorities. You cannot just... Just yeah. and drive even here. Which is good, you know. Yes. Lamu becomes more authentic Lamu, the heritage, you know. Yes. Uh, the vehicles and uh, all these new things. Uh, yes. And, you know, the authenticity of Lamu is I feel like even motorbikes are becoming more and more. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. yeah you see, uh, there's such a nuisance. Yes. Uh, we just hope the, the country the government will, you know, rethink about it. Yes. So, this uh, town is meant for. We are okay with the donkey. Yes, actually, I've, I've really liked the, the donkey style, guys. You see, the alleys are small enough for. Yes, just for donkeys. Yeah. You, and you don't need this, like. Wow. wow, guys, it's really amazing to be here. That's the airport. The airport is around there. You can even feel, yeah, the plane is, is, is ascending. Okay, right there. You can see it right there. So. We're right here in Lam, we want to take you around. This island has a lot of mysteries that today we shall be talking about and we shall be telling you more about the island. So you see right here, it's a hospital for the donkeys, right? See some donkeys? Yes. They might be sick or they might be injured. They are brought here. Oh, that's really nice, you know, in an island where there are no cars. So they have a place to treat their donkeys. Wow, man. Lamu. Modern houses here, right? The seafront is mostly modern houses. Oh, seafront. Yes. Uh, not, uh, I wouldn't say modern, modern. But like... Uh, Era. Oh, they were built during the colonial. Oh, yeah. so not before, you know. Yes, uh, this is much, much, much after, you know, the, the Arab colonial. Wow. 
and the buildings are uh, the buildings on the seafront are unique in that you, you realize yes. that they have um, a veranda like oh. some Victorian style veranda yes. you see in Europe and uh, all that. So it's very colonial. Island life. So guys now we're in the streets of Lamu, very narrow streets here. I'm gonna show you what to expect around this small small street look how the stairs look like it's very historic you look even at, at this. this is a home al hussein's home you see right there with like a palm wow and uh guys this is how they are how how this this stuff you know like i've seen like ma people use mangrove as their as their slabs like even even maybe yeah, you can see even right there. That slab right there on the tank. That's basically how the Wow. This is a, is a ruin. Ruin. We are actually in the old, oldest part of the old town now. We are yes. in the oldest part of the old town. And you told me this town was first built in when? Like which year? Like establishment. Lamu town is the oldest town in Kenya. Wow. Continuous uh, inhabited town. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, it's uh, more than 800 years. 800 years. years. Wow, look at these streets. Oh, look what I was talking about. See up here, our ceiling. Wow. Yes. Wow. So these are the narrow streets here. And I, I feel like... Uh, Fine, thank you, bro. Thank you, my brother. And I, I feel like it's very narrow in a way that uh, that you can't have two-way traffic. You know, it's a one-way. Wow. Each street has a its name. So. Ah. Yeah. The guy I was talking about. Three, you have to. Oh, you have to Hello. How are you? Hey. How are you? Hey. Mas, I see guys Mas having cameras too. Yeah. Yeah. So the the guys who come here. No, no, no. For the, you know, that's Miguar and uh, oh, Sh Shmira. Oh, okay. This one's I'm just going to show them my studio real quick. Uja, again, if you want to talk. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let them change my own. Sure. sure. Ah, we, we could pass, no worries. Yes, yes sir. You mean the Koran Kenya Marwa is a popular YouTuber? Marwa? Yes, Marwa. Asante. Yes, thank you so much. I talked a lot about him, uh, about you, so I'm going to have to do Oh, this is the DJ, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He told me your name is DJ Satan, right? Satan. Yeah. Satan. Why the name Satan? You know, it's kind of scary because it's one hell of a name. Oh, <laughs> yeah! Wow, look where we're walking, guys. Like the streets are very narrow, and you can feel the breeze, you know. Oh, and he lives in a five hundred years old. Oh, wow! I just like the mess. Wow. Actually, it's kind of the only house which is painted differently. Because I realized it's basically held together by this thing, it's falling apart. Oh. Yeah. Music. Oh, he likes Cuban music. Yeah. Asant. So we're in Satan's home. Hello. Hi, Simon. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the whole space goes all the way back. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, the vidyaka like you have to create some space for your stuff. So this is like their shelves, but very traditional ones. Oh, this one's right here. Wow. See right there. Those are still the Vidaka you told me, right? So Vidaka is kind of shelves, right? Where you can keep your stuff for. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I see like the small boxes right there. So this is like 600 years old. Okay, yes. I'm going for it, man. I'll be back. I'm going for it. Asante Satan. Oh, that's his bed. Yes. Uh -huh. Wow. The guy. Oh, he's busy. No, the way. Yeah, and for sure we did. Wow. What's your name? Marwa. Marwa. Yes. Thank you, bro. Wow. So this was amazing, man. The only painted house we have. Wow. See the kids here, don't wear shoes, like the lifestyle. Hey, he has a radio place, some music. Wow, so these houses are as old as 600 years. Wow, very beautiful. Give a good example of what the Swahili houses at the yes. entrance. Yes. So this is called uh, uh, we have this entrance porch. Yes. Entrance porch is where it's called a like kidaka. 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 If you have it, if you can give it a long shot. Yes. This is the kidaka. Oh, where people can always sit, yeah, Kibaraza. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I've seen this actually. Yeah. So that when you know any visitor, stranger comes, they sit straight, straight to the house. Yeah, women also. There, so oh, uh, Muslim women are not supposed to be in the house. Oh, see without hijab. Yes, so this was the rest and the weight as they maybe they dress. Or... So this was the you can see the mangroves also. Here. Yeah, the mangroves. the mangroves. Even if it's a modern, like modern yeah. house, it's still the lamb. Basically, this is the lamb style. Wow. The porch. Yes. Kidaka. Kidaka. Kidaka area. Yes. Wow. 
for one These are the narrow streets here. Please ensure you give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, guys, if it's your first time here. We're showing you some historical facts that maybe even you see the same Kidaka is still here. This is the Kidaka, like, that's the format, okay? Wow. It's the standard format of, of building. Even, yes, still there's a Kidaka here. You know, pimpy, you know. Yes. Kidaka is here. So this is Yes. So this means if you are, let me bring you close, I hope I'm not trespassing. But look at this. Oh photos. So it's not it's not like prohibited, like yes. So this is just a local area we're walking. So we're walking around here. Look, this like shops in the middle of nowhere, you see. So I see like there are shops even in the middle of everything. Like there's no yes. Oh, oh yeah. So like there's no yes. The, the population is this side. Yes. When you go to the seafront, you might assume maybe oh, that's where everything happens. Yes. So th that's one thing I've realized. Like. Uh, there's no formula. There's no formula here of saying go to the shops. No, shops could be just next door. Ah, yeah, yeah, like they do it in Madukani. Yes. Uh, at your village, how it goes. Yes. Uh, yesterday I was trying to show you. Uh, oh, this tomb. Yes. Al Ahdal is a, is a Sharifite family. That's a Sharifite family. That's the name. Meaning that everyone who is buried here yes. uh, can trace his uh, ancestry up to Prophet Muhammad. Yes. There's a, there's a, a population of Sharifite families in Islam. Those who are claimed to, to be connected to. Uh, to because so, uh, you know, Lam is a mix. Oh, so population came, came about. Uh, oh, I should have seen him with no shoes. With no shoes, yes. Yeah. Mm. It came about uh, from the mixture of local Bantu people and yes. the Arabs who came from. So some of those Arabs who came. Wow. I, I always love this. It's only this. Oh. It's a mix. Wow. So it's, it's, uh, the, the, the person who was uh, the chef who was uh, buried there. Yes. Who, uh, ancestors might have come from maybe Yemen. Oh. I think Ahdad is a Yemen, uh, Yemen family. All right. Set of, uh, yeah. And then mix with the people. Basically, it's a. Uh, Swahili people is uh, there's no like particular tribe called Swahili. Swahili is uh, like uh, a mix of, of every of nearly coastal people. Yes, we have Arab, we have Bantu, we have mixed Arab Bantu. Yes, uh, Indian, yeah. all that makes uh, Swahili. Guys, I, I want you also to check the, the details of the walls. So, yeah, look at. Wow. Yeah, no stones, no bricks. And uh, they had their own style of mortars. Yeah. This mortar is the uh, old style. Of I'll show you when we go, uh, we pass by other uh, fort. See how, see how they, they 
How are we going down? Oh, guys. So we're still exploring the streets here. This guy looks like really amazing. The funny thing, like, sometimes you feel like you're lost, but not lost again. You know? For example, right now, imagine we are walking in the middle of uh, like there's a house on top of us, but but still, it's a road. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. This is a street. We're not in some alley. It's actually. This is a street with a name. Wow. Wow. Look how it came from. Uh, so this is a tomb, tomb guy, so meaning somebody was somebody holy. Somebody holy. Wow. In the entire I was in the town of Yes. Oh, this looks like a modern house. The house that we are walking yes. So this is the funny thing. You feel like you're walking into somebody's home, but there is a way somehow to pass through. You see? Yeah. Uh, and it's also very modern. Oh. 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 This is this is let's say this one's here. You want to knock, right? You you hold it and knock. From India, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's an Indian style because of the elephants. Okay. Oh. You know, concern about uh, you know, safety. You know, yes. Household and the elephants in India. Yeah. So they would do this because when the oh, they try. Yeah. To, yeah. Can, yeah. So that was the design. Yeah. It was, yeah. So it was adopted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the walls here. Yeah. Uh, here we have a brother. Man, that feels like like the story of Jesus, you know, riding on a donkey. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. really? Yeah. You think so? Like, let, let, me, let me make it more real. Yeah. This way. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's Bethlehem, right? Bethlehem. Yes. So, less yeah. older than where we were, so this oh. is around uh, 18th century. But where we were was much more smaller. Yes. I think there's, there's an event happening somewhere. I don't know what's happening. I think there's an event happening right there. Right? Mostly in the Oh. Now, can we, can we just turn back? All right. Oh, Bethlehem. Oh. Yes. House of Mix. Oh. Which is in, in Hebrew is Bethlehem. Yeah, Bethlehem. Bethlehem Actually, it's, it's right here. Wow. Let me show them a close close shot. See right there. So for those guys who follow religion, that's the town that Jesus Christ was born. And a so few meters, yeah, a few meters away, we just met we just met a guy riding a donkey, and I was like, this feels like Jesus. And wow, we're in Bethlehem. Wow. 
So there's a very, very famous uh, author, right? Or poet. poet. Yeah, she came from a royal family. Oh, okay. She, she's from the royal family. She's called uh, uh, Monakupona. Monakupona. She's from uh, Nabahani. So she wrote a uh, famous poem in, uh, in 1854. Wow. Inside this building. Yes. Because I did this for my university. Wow. My university. I did the literature for Swahili 19th century literature. So I also studied one of the It's one of the best uh, recommended poems, I'd say, for somebody, a bride uh, uh, who wants to, you know, to get oh, married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good advice for my mother to Although it's also controversial because yes. from the world, there's a lot of you know, uh, talk on how to treat the women and uh, or has oh. slaves especially. Because yes. she's telling her not to <laughs> intermingle with the slaves because she's from the royal family. family. Wow. But also, yeah, but I, basically, I think, yes. it, is, it gives good advice on how she can be provided. Yes. And also, I feel like. Uh, that can also give you yeah. the, the oldest uh, mosque. Yes. Right, right down here. Wow. This one. Is the oldest, uh, mosque. This one here. Mm -hmm. Like uh, around 600 years, like the same. 700. Uh, 700. Wow. 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 My brother is chilling here. One thing I don't know, this being a very small, like, uh, island and also town, is there things like prostitution here? Yes, like open prostitution, you know, like the ones you see people parade. This is, uh, you know, uh, Salam Alaikum. Salam Alaikum. I'm Yambo. I'm Yambo. I'm Yambo. I'm Wow, look at this man, what's here? Wow. Oh, very old house. They're trying to put pipes, you know, modern. This place, I find it spooky. Oh, it's so, spooky. It's yeah. the spookiest alley, nobody lives here. Oh, this one here. Oh, oh, oh. Because actually there's no there's nobody who's inside. Yes. It's an abandoned house. Wow. And there's always a black cat. Oh there's always a black cat. I think yesterday we saw something like that. Knock and wait. So it means like you may knock and you may feel. So you know it, it, in this coastal region, many people believe of genies. Not like believe in them, but they feel like part of them. It's like a normal thing here. So, kind of superstitious creatures, which can appear in different forms, but mostly they, people believe they kind of take the form of a cat. Wow. This one here. Uja, Ujarat, Gujarat, 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 square, square, square. Okay. So, Gujarat, it's different from the others. Oh, wow. Wow. 
Oh, the big one. Let me wear some mask. Oh. Wow, you hear the music there? This is the Lamu Fort. So right there, that's the fort. And the house right behind that fort was the governor's house. Where, you know, and now they're constructing a new house somewhere here, you can tell. Wow. They're still inside. Lamu Castle Lodge. Oh, this is a lodge here. Hey, what's up guys? We're in Lamu today. I'm with my brother here. And today he's taking me around uh, Lamu Island. And you wanna see some parts here. There's a big fort here. And uh, they are constructing a new one right here. So I want to take you around and show you life in Lam. Sinevio. Wow. This is the town's main square. This is the time town's main, 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 main square. So here is where the boys and the guys meet. And wow. And you can see the donkey feels like part of the group. Yes. All right, guys. So that's a bit for the Wow. So this is the town square. The main square is called Mkunguni. Mkunguni. Yeah, if you not rich here, you not rich land. Oh. All the, you know. Yes. Things happen. All the party happen. All the, you know. Oh yeah, like yesterday, I remember. Oh, this square right here. And also, this is where they like. Uh, Mm. People meet and uh, you know you can see the old people playing the, the yes. bow game. Yes, it's called bow. bow yeah. Yes. Game. So guys, we're still showing you around here, and this feels uh, it's a unique experience actually to be here and um, yeah so now guys we are at this farthest end of uh, Lamu how do you call this part actually we started our video from there right jt1 yes yes so to the to the main square yes wow this is called Mukomani area. Mukomani area. So this is the Lamu seafront again. Yes. You can see the Lamu seafront with the port. And uh, it goes all the way up there and all the way up to Shela. So Shela is like the beautiful, poshy... Yeah, uh, it's like that. Yes. Up market. Up market. Uh, a lot of investment made by Westerners. Wow. So you have to have holiday homes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's where, you know, the party is always. Because here it's a bit more reserved. Yes. Because of the uh, majority of the Muslim community. All right. All right. So, that's, uh, where I share. so guys. In Manda also there's a uh, good place in Manda. That's the farthest part is Manda. Manda Island. Yeah, it's Majlis. So there's, there's Majlis, Manda, and we have Shela, and now we have the Lamb itself. Yes. Guys, I think I'll be ending the video right here. And also, we want to walk to the other side. Maybe the other part of the video will be showing you more to the farthest end. But for now, I want to end the video here. I want to say thank you so much for accompanying me. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Nice, nice. To maybe, meet maybe you. it'll be like this because of the background. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The UNESCO World Heritage. Yes. Uh, it was nice uh, taking you around this uh, uh, UNESCO conference. Uh, one heritage site. Yes. Lamu is always a relaxed place. I've been here and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it every day. Yes. And, uh, it's like uh, it's a factory setting for my brain. Wow. Actually, it's very chill, and I like the fact that people here are super relaxed, no hurries, and people are just minding their own businesses. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Till next time. Bye bye. Kwaheri. Napoli Nuka,